Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install, download and install Cisco iOS images for GNS3. So one of the requirements is to have your GNS3 running, okay, your GNS3 application running. And you have your GNS3 VM also running, where you're going to run the Cisco devices, right? And the third requirement is to ensure that you have the Cisco um, iOS images. So in this video, we're going to start with uh, installing, downloading and installing a Cisco switch, right? Okay. So uh, previously we were doing these projects using uh, Cisco Packet Tracer, but due to um, limitation of Packet Tracer, we're now, we're now going to start doing them using GNS3. So without any further ado, let's start uh, the work now here. Yeah. So uh, to install um, Cisco switch or Cisco router, it's pretty much simple. Just go to um, your GNS3, ensure actually you, you have your GNS3 running and GNS3 VM running, okay? All right, so just go to Edit tab, okay? All right, so first before maybe I show you that, I'll just show you the, uh, the list of available devices that I have currently so that you can see that I have not installed any other device here, okay? All right, so let's install the Cisco switch. I'll just go here, go to Preferences, and Let's go to uh, Dynamics, okay? So if you click on Dynamics, so this way actually you can create, uh, as if, if you have uh, the image already on your on your local PC, you can just uh, click on New, then always choose to run the IS router on GNS3 VM. Don't run it on your local computer if you have GNS3 running, okay? All right. And then go next. Just go to uh, a new image and now go and choose where the image is, right? So I've already downloaded this. Don't worry about this one. I'm going to share this on the on the uh, on the video description or the first comment. Just check on the first comment of the video description. You're going to find uh, the link to download this. Okay. All right. So I'm just going, going to here and I go to Cisco. And this is my image for switch. This switch has a capability of both L2 and L3. It's both layer two and layer three switch, okay? All right, so let's start with the switch. And uh, just would you like to decompress? No worries. And go next, oh, okay, let it uh, upload. And then go next. And indicate that this is an Ethernet, uh, Ethernet switch route. Okay, all right. And this this is where you can actually um, specify the name. So in this case, I'm just going to say Cisco L2 switch. Okay, or Cisco access switch. Access switch. Okay. Then maybe L2, layer two, All right? Okay. In this, in this, in this first, in this first, uh, I'm going, I'm going to install both uh, layer two and layer three. But I've, as I have said, as I have said that this, um, this image here is capable of both layer two and layer three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install it twice and one to be labeled as layer two, another one labeled as layer three. Okay. All right. Because in our projects, we need maybe to differentiate them in one way or the other, right? Okay, so just go next. Go next. No worries, just the slots. I have 16 interfaces here. 16 interfaces are okay for me from GNS3 project, okay? All right. And then I don't need to uh, allocate any WIC module, okay? If I need to do that, I'll do it later uh, when uh, the need arises. And always click Idle PC, okay? So you can see Idle PC value is necessary to prevent IS to use 
100% of your processor or one of its core. Yep, now you see uh, the adult piece, that one has been found suitable for your OS image. Just click OK and finish. And now everything's just OK. Everything's just OK. And just click Apply and OK. So this is our L2 switch. Let's now install our Cisco Matlia switch L3, okay? Just the same image, right? Same image, very important, go to Dynamics and uh, just go to New, no problem. Okay, choose New Image and please just select the same image, right? Okay, so just do it very, very fast. Okay, just click OK, finish, apply, and done. So you can see the two switches have actually have same icon because they are from the same image. Okay, so maybe to differentiate them properly, uh, I'll just change icon for layer two switch because this icon is not for L3, okay? So just go, right click, configure, and go to, where is it? Symbols, okay? Go to Symbols. I go to classics. Yeah, so we're going to search for uh, L2 switch symbol here. For that one, I'm, go I'm just going to, ch uh, to choose the Ethernet switch uh, symbol, right? Okay, no worries. I'm going to choose the Ethernet switch symbol and click OK. So you can see it has changed to Ethernet switch symbol here. All right, okay. Okay, so we have the layer 2 switch, layer 3 switch. Now let's install, download and install um, Cisco is router image okay still same process i have the image on my local computer so just go to edit preferences go to dynamics is routers uh click new always run this uh router on genius 3 vm okay all right and then the new image i'm gonna browse this the this the image of my router router sorry c7200 okay Okay. I'm gonna choose that and open. Okay. And then I come I'll go next. That's okay. I'm not gonna alter this one. Go next. Go next. And now here is very important because this is a router uh, by default. Uh, if I just uh, install this router this way, it will only have one first Ethernet interfaces, okay? So maybe, uh, let me just choose two first Ethernet interfaces, right? Okay, now in this regard, it, has, it only has two interfaces, okay? First Ethernet. So if you want to add other interfaces, just click on Microsoft One. So for example, I want to add uh, serial interfaces. So remember in our labs, we normally do router to router, router to firewalls, we do serial interfaces. So to add a serial interface, you can just click PA8T. It will give you eight serial interfaces. And another one, if you maybe have to add some other interfaces, uh, let's say you have to, you want to add some first Ethernet, two first Ethernet interfaces, just click that one and go next. Add a PC finder. Perfect. So I just click OK and. Uh, Finish, and we forgot to name this. We forgot to name this. So just let let just click it, edit, and say Cisco router. Okay, just that's okay, and okay, and apply, and okay. So you see, guys, we have how many uh, devices? We have a Cisco router. We can just drag it and place it here. We have a Matlia switch, we can just drag it and place it here. We have access switches, you can drag it and place it here, okay? All right, and if you need to connect them, it's pretty much simple. Uh, first Ethernet goes here, okay? Then we also connect that one. We also connect this one and this one, okay? Perfect, very important, okay? Okay. Then escape to uh, remove the uh, the cable, and now you're good to go. 
what I do, I just click on start devices and it will start all these devices. So maybe if I can just go inside here, you see it's booting, okay? And also if I go inside here, you see it's actually booting. Uh, if I go inside here, you see it's also booting, right? So let's maybe start with the first uh, router, this one. Uh, it's still booting, maybe. Yeah, so you can see enable, uh, it's already enabled config T. Yeah, so no worries, that's okay. Also, this one, you can just uh, uh, config T. You see, that's okay. Yep, so this one also. And this one is also config T. That's okay. Perfect. So thank you my thank you so much guys. And I believe you've learned how to um download and install Cisco IS images on GNS3. If you are worried about the link, here I will leave a link on the description part of the video. Please uh click on the link and get yourself download and install a Cisco IS images. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye bye.